We're often led to believe that life just happens to us, that we're just reacting to the endless stream of events, circumstances and coincidences that make up our daily lives. But what if this isn't the whole picture? What if instead, you could consciously influence everything around you simply by shifting what's within you? The answer lies in the powerful connection between your internal state, your thoughts, emotions and intentions, and the reality you experience. Imagine reality not as a fixed, unchangeable environment, but as something fluid, something that bends and molds based on the energy you emit. Quantum science, ancient wisdom and modern psychology all point toward the same revelation. Our reality is not only influenced by our surroundings, but also by the vibrations we emit, the thoughts we choose to cultivate, and the emotions we allow ourselves to feel. So today, let's dive deep into this concept of inner reality and explore how tuning into certain emotional frequencies can reshape the world around you. To grasp the profound depth of this, let's look at what modern physics, particularly quantum physics, has to say about our connection to the universe. Decades ago, Max Planck, known as the father of quantum theory, made a discovery that still baffles scientists today. At its core, all matter is essentially energy. These energy packets called quanta interact and respond to observation, meaning that our very act of looking at the world can influence it. Building on this, Albert Einstein once said, everything is energy and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want and you cannot help but get that reality. What if he was right? What if reality is indeed an energy field responding to the frequencies we emit? If this is true, then the key to transforming our reality is hidden in the frequencies of our thoughts and emotions. You are not a passive spectator. You are the creator, the active force in shaping what you experience. So how does this work in practice? Think of the universe as a web of vibrating energy fields a matrix connecting everything. Every thought, every feeling you have creates a ripple in this web. These ripples go on to attract similar frequencies in the world around you, which is why you often hear phrases like, you attract what you vibrate. Far from being just a feel-good mantra, this is grounded in the physics of resonance. By tuning into high-frequency emotions, such as joy, love and gratitude, you align yourself with those energies in the universe. Let's consider gratitude. This emotion is incredibly potent because it emits one of the highest frequencies of vibration. When you genuinely feel grateful, you're telling the universe that you recognize abundance. This vibrational frequency then attracts circumstances that reflect abundance, reinforcing the cycle. The same applies to love. Love is another high vibration emotion that when deeply felt attracts harmonious experiences, supportive relationships and positive circumstances. On the other hand, low frequency emotions like fear, anger or scarcity emit a vibration that attracts similarly low vibration experiences. It's important to note here that the universe does not judge these emotions, it simply mirrors them. In other words, Whatever you are consistently vibrating, the universe will mirror back to you, whether it's high frequency or low frequency. To harness this principle, we must first develop emotional awareness. Often we move through life on autopilot, reacting to situations rather than consciously choosing how we want to feel. A powerful practice to begin with is emotional mapping, which involves identifying your dominant emotions throughout the day. Ask yourself, what have I been feeling today? How have these feelings shaped my thoughts and actions? This process is not about judgment, it's about clarity. By identifying your emotions, you gain insight into the frequencies you're projecting. From there, you can choose to adjust them. For example, if you find you've been feeling anxious, take a few minutes to breathe deeply and focus on a calming emotion, such as peace. Visualize the anxiety dissolving, replaced by a gentle calmness that flows through your body. 
In addition to emotional mapping, meditation is another powerful tool for tuning into and controlling your vibrational frequency. Meditation creates a space where the mind can quiet, allowing you to connect with your inner self. Through meditation you can cultivate specific emotions intentionally, such as joy or gratitude. As you breathe and focus on these emotions, you generate a powerful vibrational frequency that the quantum field responds to. One of the simplest but most effective forms of meditation is conscious breathing. This involves focusing your awareness on each breath, visualizing each inhale as a wave of light and peace, and each exhale as a release of any tension, anxiety, or negative energy. By harmonizing your breath in this way, you attune your entire being to a higher frequency, effectively aligning yourself with the energies you wish to attract. And here's another key element, connection with nature. Nature resonates at its own frequency, one that is balanced and harmonious. When you spend time in nature, your body naturally begins to sync with this vibration. Whether it's walking barefoot on grass, feeling the warmth of sunlight, or simply breathing in fresh air, these simple actions recalibrate your energy, bringing you back to a place of stability and connection. The power of these practices is not limited to just feeling good. It is in the synchronicities they create. As you align yourself with the energy you wish to experience, the universe responds. You'll begin to notice subtle signs, little coincidences that seem to align perfectly with your desires. These synchronicities are the universe's way of confirming that you are in flow, that your vibration is aligning with the field around you. When we understand that emotions are not merely reactions but tools for creation, we unlock a new level of influence over our lives. Every emotion we feel sends a message to the quantum field, instructing it on the kind of reality we wish to manifest. This is not just a hopeful idea, it's a fundamental principle of vibrational physics. The choice of each thought, each feeling, shapes our reality in profound ways. Now, as you reflect on this, consider the journey of self-mastery required to maintain these high vibrations consistently. It's not about suppressing negative emotions, but about redirecting your focus. Whenever you find yourself in a negative emotional state, recognize it as a signal, a reminder to recalibrate. The act of noticing and shifting is, in itself, an act of creation. In the end, transforming your reality is about maintaining a clear, consistent intention. Be deliberate with your thoughts, your emotions and your vibrations, for they are the architects of your world. The universe is always listening, always ready to respond to the frequencies you send out. Through the combined practices of emotional awareness, meditation, conscious breathing, and connection with nature, you hold the power to become the conscious creator of your reality.